Land Bank Send Money to Security Bank How to Transfer Funds from Land Bank to Security Bank Online And if you're new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. So in this video, we transfer tayo ng pera from Land Bank to Security Bank Online to do that, uh, go to their website www.landbank.com So, ang gamit ko ngayon is yung computer ko and pupunta ko sa iAccess website ng Landbank. So, scroll down ko to and meron ditong iAccess so I'll click this and napunta ko sa website na www.lbpiaccess.com and I'll go ahead and log in with my iAccess ID and password. Um, by the way, kung wala ka pang iAccess ID and password or wala ka pang online account with Landbank, pwede kang mag-enroll or mag-register. May ginawa kaming video about Landbank online registration. You may click this i button to check that video. So I'll go ahead and log in here and click login. And may sinabi dito na nag-send na raw sa mobile number ko ng OTP. Pero based experience ko, mas maganda na mag-send na lang ng OTP via email. So, i-click ko tong resend OTP via email. So, I'll click OK. And ito na yung email from Landbank about the OTP. So, it's 154571. So, enter ko dito. And click submit. So, andito na ako sa loob ng online account ko with Landbank. If I'll click account summary, ito yung current balance ko with Landbank. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon is magka-transfer ako ng pera from Landbank to other bank. To do that, dito sa bandang kanan, click fund transfer. And then, for step 1, uh, choose an account to debit. Since isa lang naman yung account ko with Landbank, I'll check this. And then for step 2, uh, you have four options here. Since magatransfer ako sa security bank, which is ibang bank, I'll choose transfer to other banks via InstaPay or PesoNet. Mamimili ka dito sa dalawa. But for now, uh, ito may malit na text box dito. Piliin natin yung security bank. And here, may security bank dito sa list. And transfer via InstaPay or PesoNet. Ang kaibahan ng dalawa is pag InstaPay, real-time yung pag-transfer. Ibig sabihin, pag ginagawa ko na itong online transaction ko sa Landbank, dapat yung perang ipapasa ko is mag-reflect agad sa security bank. That's why it's real-time. For PesoNet, uh, hindi siya real-time. It may take few hours to one day or so para mag-reflect yung perang pinasa mo. And also, isa pang kaibahan nila is pag insta pay, up to 50,000 pesos yung pwede mong i-transfer per transaction. And like for PesoNet, ang alam ko is mas malaki yung pwede mong i-transfer. That's up uh, more than 50,000 pesos. I'm not sure if it's up to 200,000 pesos or 500,000 pesos for land bank. And ang mapapansin nyo is pareho silang walang charge. Zero pesos yung uh, transfer fee. But normally, may charge talaga yung pag-transfer from... Uh, land bank to other bank, hindi siya free. So, ang pinili ko na is yung InstaPay. Later on, check natin kung real-time talaga yung pag-transfer. And scroll down natin. For receiver's name, ilalagay ko yung owner ng bank account na pagdilipatan or pagpapasahan ng pera. And then, enter here the uh, account number na pagpapasahan ng pera. For security bank, uh, 13 digits yung bank account ko with them. And then, kumpetuhin ko lang ibang details. And for the purpose of transfer, ang ilalagay ko na lang dito is uh, savings or investment. Again, ang nilagay ko dito is yung uh, details about the recipient. Kung sino yung owner ng bank account na pagkapasahan ko ng pera. And then for step 3, I'll add here 500 pesos. Again, there's no charge right now. It's 0 pesos. But normally, may charge talaga for InstaPay and or PesoNet. For transfer type, uh, since InstaPay nga ang gusto ko, ang uh, pipiliin ko na rin dito is transfer immediately. Pag gusto mo yung dalawang options dito sa baba, which is uh, fit for PesoNet na hindi real-time, pwede naman. Isaselect mo lang yung future date dito, or kung gusto mo regular yung transfer, isaset mo lang kung monthly or quarterly pa siya, and that date, it will start to transfer money. And kung hanggang ilang payments ang gusto mo. For step 5, uh, sending options ng OTP. 
uh, gusto ko through email. And scroll down ko ulit. Uh, before I click next, I'll go ahead and log in with Security Bank. So, ito siya. And then, I'll log in. So, ito yung current balance ko sa Security Bank. Dapat later on, madagdagan to ng 500 pesos pag natapos ko na yung ginagawa kong pag-transfer sa Land Bank. So, balik ako sa Land Bank. And click next. And ito yung details. Kunin ko lang yung OTP sa email. Ito na siya. And enter ko lang dito yung code na na-receive ko sa email. And click confirm. And click OK. So, mali daw yung OTP na nilagay ko. So, ang gagawin ko para hindi na ako magkamali is ikakopy ko to. Copy. And paste it over here. Or control V. And click confirm. And click OK. And sana tama na yung OTP na nilagay ko. So, here's the acknowledgement ng transaction. Sabi dito successful na. Uh, na-transfer na daw yung 500 pesos and there's no charge for this. Punta ko Security Bank. It's 112. Pero pag ni-refresh ko to by clicking this um, account ko, dapat magbago yung amount. So, click ko na siya. And ito, uh, napunta ko dun sa transaction ko. May na-credit na 500 pesos. From 112,405 naging 112,905 na yung laman ng pera ko. This is because of the transfer I made from Land Bank. So, pwede na ako mag-log out dito. And sa Land Bank, apunta ako sa account summary ko. And nabawasan na siya ng 500 pesos. And that's it. Kung may iba pa kayong video na tingin nyo kaya namin makatulong or pwede kami magturo online, let us know by providing a comment below. And also, please like this video kung tingin nyo nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. May mga iba pa kaming videos about money transfer. You can also check this. And in case you're interested, may mga videos din kami about money investment. Pwede kang mag-start mag-invest sa maliit na halaga. And this is Lul from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!